Bard College likes to characterize itself as a place to think. It's also a very beautiful campus. A small campus nestled in the woods of upstate New York, overlooking the Hudson. And historically, the college has a strong social and environmental mission and an attitude towards its surrounding of appreciate the beauty but also do no harm to the environment. We set out to make a building whose priorities would be sustainability. This has to do, again, with social consciousness and responsibility. Passive House is really one of the great ambitions to which a college dormitory, university dormitory can aspire, in fact, any residential building. Passive House is a rigorous set of building requirements and it's aimed at overall energy efficiency. And the essential byproduct of that efficiency is human comfort. So at a base level, a Passive House building really wants a planar envelope. It makes all of the detailing easier and it really aids in proving out that you've met the Passive House criteria. But for this project, the building has to feel welcoming. It has to create a welcoming environment on the outside for the students and on the inside for the students. Really important for us is to establish the building block for the entire project. And the building block starts from the smallest scale of the bedroom of a single student. How can you make it as efficient as possible? And then how those rooms get clustered into apartments and then from there scaling to the size of a, of a building and of a master plan and of a campus. All of the long faces of the building, 200 feet long, all face south. We get the natural solar radiation from the sun, which in a cold environment like upstate New York is advantageous. The project has a geothermal well field comprised of 74 wells that are drilled 450 feet deep. Instead of using a machine to burn more energy to remove or add heat to the building, we're using the natural ambient temperature of the earth to do it for us. The buildings all have a minimum of eight inches of insulation at the roof, four inches of insulation at the foundation under the slabs, and nine and a half inches of insulation in the walls. So that gives us an overall wall thickness of about 16 inches. The brick facades will also act as a heat sink. They'll absorb heat during the day and give it off at night. Therefore, we're also gonna be using the skin to help us with our overall goal of maintaining a constant ambient temperature. On a very practical level, living in a passive house means that you have thermal comfort throughout the year, and it means that you're saving substantially on the energy consumption. But I think beyond that, it's a really special experience for a student who live in an environment that allows him the day-to-day -day understanding of what it means to live with a smaller carbon footprint.